Hello, I'm Atubo Judge. Now, today is Friday. <laughs> Praise God. And listen, the, the, the month of November is coming to a close. And I pray for you, listen, that as we enter the last month of this year, see, the Lord has said that this is the season of restoration. And that's why he's been teaching you about dealing with false teaching. Now he's talking to us, to us about how to hear and understand his voice. You see, the reason is this. He is about to set you on a path that only him will have the control of your life. Now what does that mean? That means he is setting you on a path that is only him that can tell you stop. And you are just going to keep increasing and increasing and increasing. Praise God. And, and he's restoring the years that have passed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, yesterday I got talking about how do, you, how do you understand God's voice. Okay. So we're talking about Samuel. Now, Samuel was hearing the Lord already. Now, the question then is, why didn't the Lord say, see, he, he was already hearing Samuel, Samuel, and he was responding to it. But he was responding wrongly. So, he, he ran to Eli. Now, how come God didn't say, Samuel, stop. It's not Eli, it is I, the Lord, that is speaking to you. See, but God didn't do that. You know why? Because God was waiting to get Samuel's attention. Now, how does God get your attention when you acknowledge him as the speaker? You understand what I'm saying? Now, when someone calls you, for example, calls your phone, and then you pick up your phone, the first thing you say is, hello. See, now, if it's a name you already know, you can say, oh, hello, mention the person's name. Now, when you do that, you wait for a response. See, now, what are you waiting for? Is that the person? See, you want to acknowledge the fact that you are talking to the right person. And when you hear the person's voice, say, oh, how now? Because sometimes someone can use someone else's phone and call you. They say, hello. And he says, says, sorry, who's this? Now, why are you saying, you, you become skeptical. Okay, if an unknown number calls you, for example, you pick it up. And they say, hello. Like the first thing you're looking for is, who is this person? Now, when you say, oh, it's Susan and so person, say, oh, how are you? Now, a conversation begins. So, acknowledgement precedes every good conversation. Now, if the person goes, um, sorry, you don't know me, but uh, you, may, you may do two minutes of that on that call without really engaging in a conversation. You say, okay, so explain yourself. Uh, well, I met you two weeks ago. You gave me your number. And you told me, okay, so what did I now say? Oh, oh, oh okay, so, oh, I remember, I remember. So, how are you? Your conversation starts. See? Now, it's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. He doesn't engage you in, 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 in talking or teaching until you acknowledge him. Now, because many of us, the same way Samuel was running to Eli, and the Lord never told him, stop, until Eli told him, young boy, I, know, I think I know what's going on. The next time you hear that voice, this is how you should respond. Say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And he said, okay. And now when you read that scripture, so amazing. This is in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Let me, let, me, let me read it again. Now verse 9 says, Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be if he called thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. Now look at verse 10. And the Lord came and stood and called us at other times. Now the boy has been told what to do. He has been told how to respond to the voice of God. He has been told how to acknowledge God. And then the, the Bible didn't say God assumed, okay, now he understands. Let me just talk to him. No, the Bible said he came as this other time. The, the same way he came before. Samuel, Samuel. And then he was watching, is he going to act? And Samuel acknowledged, he says, speak, Lord. See, when he says, speak, Lord, he acknowledged the speaker is God. Praise God. So, immediately he did that, God began to speak to him. God opened up to him and he began to talk to him. Now, that's what you need to do. If, if you're the one there saying, well, how do, I, how do I know the voice of God? Listen, listen. It's either you're hearing the voice of God or you are not hearing the voice of God. If you are not hearing the voice of God at all, then you don't belong to him. And, and, and you, need to, you need to reconcile with the Lord. 
But if you're hearing the voice or you say, now, now how do you know, okay, well, I don't know which one. Now, how many times have you said to someone, something was telling me or somebody was telling me? Now, I want you to think about it. Were those things good? Were those things things beyond your knowledge? Did those things bring knowledge and understanding to you? Now, when God speaks to you, first of all, see, when you hear that voice, you know it's an external voice. It's not, it's not your mind. For example, you know, he said, my mind was telling me that um, I forgot my key. But I didn't take it seriously. Now, the truth is you, you didn't know you forgot your key. See, so it wasn't your mind that was telling you, you forgot your key. It was the Holy Spirit that was telling you, you forgot your key. And I said, I just said, let me check. And then I check and lo and behold, no, it wasn't you. If it is you, you will remember, oh, I know where I dropped my key. I didn't carry it. Oh, let me go back and carry it. That's, that's what your mind will tell you because your mind has the memory. But when your mind begins to, you forgot your key. You said, no, how can I forget my key? I don't forget my keys. I think my key is in my bag. Hey, you forgot your key. No, no, I didn't forget my key. You see, that engagement is going on. You think, you think that's your mind? So who, who's talking to your mind then? Your mind is talking to your mind. You forgot your key. No, I didn't forget my key. So your mind is having a dialogue with itself. No, someone else is talking to you. But because you don't know, you don't acknowledge him. Okay, so you now say, so let me just check. And then you go check and say, oh dear Lord, see my key. What do you do then? So my mind is too powerful. No, or something. That's something that is not. No, Lord, I'm so sorry I could have taken your word from the very first time. I realize now that you're the one that's been talking to me. Now, that's how you acknowledge him. And then you begin to practice listening and respond to that voice. Now, you know he spoke to you. Now, many times he starts with something small. He, he doesn't start with, look, let me tell you what is going to happen tomorrow. No. He, he starts with, wake up and pray. Get up and eat your food now. Leave the house right now. Don't enter that vehicle. That's how he starts. And you, your place is to acknowledge him and respond to him. How do you acknowledge him? You confess that this is the Lord that is speaking to you. Some of it is very difficult to say the Holy Spirit was teaching me or the Holy Spirit told me something. Say, eh, you know, eh, because you're shy of him. How will he speak to you when you're shy of him? Praise God. Obviously, we have to continue this next week. And I, I, I hope this has been a blessing to you. Listen, you need to know and understand the voice of God. Praise God. Have a wonderful day, Evan. This weekend should be your best weekend. Praise God. Bye-bye.